25,000 dock workers at 14 ports across the east and Gulf Coast are on strike as we speak. Among their demands, higher wages and no automation at the terminals. The Port of New York and New Jersey is one of the busiest in the nation. And Christine Sloan is live now in Port Elizabeth with more. Christine? Well, Christine, workers are on the picket line here in Port Elizabeth. Their union says if it doesn't get its way, ports in New Jersey, New York, and across the nation will remain closed. Experts say if the strike persists, it'll have a crippling effect on the U.S. economy. Members of the International Longshoremen's Association went on strike at midnight Tuesday. Their union is demanding a 77% pay increase over six years. The union president also says his members are against fully automating terminals, calling it a job killer. Why would you want to let a foreign company come in here and put up automation and ruin American jobs? If the strike continues, experts say it could have a drastic effect on the availability of goods, anything from cars to furniture to bananas to coffee and wine. We didn't get respected, but now we will. Now we will when they find out malls are going to shut down because goods can't come in. Car salesmen are going to get laid off. Governors from both New Jersey and New York say they are prepared. There's no disruptions to our supply of medical support. Prescriptions, food, all this are our highest priorities right now. Hochul says 100,000 shipping containers are in limbo in both ports, but she is asking people not to hoard like they did during the pandemic. It's not time to be panic buying groceries or other products because the port has worked really hard to move produce and other shipments into, off the containers, get them into the trucks and get them to their destinations. The U.S. Maritime Alliance that represents shipping and terminal companies says it has offered the union a 50% pay increase. The group also says current contract wording says terminals won't be fully automated. The economic loss to the New York and New Jersey area estimated to be hundreds of millions of dollars a day. I would hope that uh, folks could get to a table sooner than later, find common ground. President Joe Biden has the power to ask for what's called an 80-day cooling off period, but the president says he is not intervening in new union matters. We're live in Port Elizabeth, New Jersey. Christine Sloan, CBS News, New York.